Hello World Premier this is Jane's Videos and today we are going to be taking a look at Cracker Barrel's Halloween for 2021. A place that took a little hiatus last year but they are back with their Halloween for this year so let's take a look. First off we have this which is a new rendition on the house canvas that we basically see every year except last year of course. <laughs> this is a very big one. It's pretty cool looking. I like how the lanterns flicker. Right here you've got this ghost with this cool swirl effect. He's got a pretty cool swirl effect inside of him. Uh, there's a cool Day of the Dead mug. I actually really like how that one looks. There's candy corn hand soap down here. I think these are, yeah, these are salt and pepper shakers for Day of the Dead. A little Day of the Dead owl plate. Kettle cooked fudge pumpkin pie. Okay, that looks good. Another Day of the Dead plate. What is this? Fireside Redwood candle. There's this little truck with glitter and a skeleton inside. Like I said, in other store walkthroughs, what is the deal with the glitter? I don't know. The broom, which is back again. Back at it again for like the hundredth year in a row. We have this cat, looks like kitchen towel. I actually like that one. It's cool. His, his body's the towel and then his head's on top. Then you've got the broom, the truck, another kitchen towel right there. Now right here, this thing's kind of cool looking. It's another one of those swirly things, but it's a crystal ball with a spider. I really like the orange look this has got. You've got a little glittery ball. Oh, what am I saying? Potion bottle right here. And this is one of the best animated things I think they have this year. I'm not a big fan of it, but I think it's definitely one of the best. Um, I'm never too big of a fan of Cracker Barrel stuff, but they have some cool things. Now that I would say that this is the best one they have this year for animated. I'm not sure his price. The prices are usually on the boxes, which are kind of hard to get to. But uh, let's turn him on. So we got him down here, pumpkin pie almonds. Uh, don't mind if I do. Some, a day of the dead. Kitchen towel, whatever that is. They've got a lot of day of the dead stuff. Like a lot of day of the dead stuff. I don't know if I showed that plate already. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I showed most of this Day of the Dead stuff already on the other side. A lot of Day of the Dead owls. And then we have Baby Yoda. And some little Halloween accessory. This is going to be a screamer. He doesn't want to work. I'm kind of glad because those things are loud. We got costumes and clothes and all sorts of stuff. And it looks like... This is, I know this is like a, a skeleton in a outhouse. And he's not working. Oh, there he goes. I didn't think he was working, but there he went. I actually really like how the mausoleum looks. It looks cool. And I can tell you the price on this one because the box is easily accessible. He is $29.99. You have right here a Scooby-Doo shirt, little pumpkin with a witch hat. Okay. Hey, you can stop. We got a witch wand. They've had that for quite a few years. See what we got down here. Oh geez, Peppa Pig. We've also got some of the 
salt and pepper shakers, which these boxes are easily accessible too, so hopefully I can get you a price, $8.99. There's Peppa Pig. Not really sure what that has to do with Halloween. These actually are kind of cool. They're little wolf hand puppets, I guess. Kind of different. Here's Peppa Pig. I think this might be my favorite Halloween prop of 2021. This is just really cool. Unlike anything we've ever seen before. I've been wanting a licensed Peppa Pig for a long time and uh, they finally got one at Cracker Barrel. <laughs> but if you really do want this, she is $22.99. There's this little wand thing here, pumpkin. And this minion. Uh, check his price. I would assume he's gonna be the same as Peppa Pig. Yep, $22.99. So it looks like the average for the animated things here. So if you like minions, there you go. <laughs> like I said, I'm not too big into the stuff at Cracker Barrel just because it's a little too cutesy and kid friendly for my taste. But it's still exciting to see it because it means the Halloween season is approaching. Um, and I'm glad that they're back after a hiatus last year. I forgot to mention this, this Playmobil Scooby-Doo set. You've also got these little coffin noisemakers. Is that Santa Claus? So there's that. And over here, you've, here, there you have the broom. I will check the price on that in case anyone's curious if I can see the price. $29.99. And then you've got some more shirts. Oh, this one's cool. Let me take it out. Nightmare Before Christmas Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Now that's the most interesting thing here, I think. Um, there's a Snoopy shirt. I don't know what this is. It looks like it's got a bat on it. And this is cool. Great pumpkin believer since 1966. I like that hat. That's pretty cool. Now the thing that interests me most is already sold out as it's sold out at like basically every Cracker Barrel I'm pretty sure. It's that one ghost that holds the lantern. I don't know if you guys have seen pictures or videos of it but it's pretty cool. They've also got some costumes and here is the gargoyle candelabra which I will check the price on for anyone curious. He is $39.99 so a bit pricey but if you like him he's here at Cracker Barrel. And yeah that's basically it. They never have too big of a Halloween selection but it is still exciting to see Halloween nonetheless so I hope you all enjoyed this video be sure to check out your local Cracker Barrel as they most likely do have Halloween and I'm assuming that's where the ghost that I like was bummer <laughs> keep on at the moon my werewolf